Well, Jimmy, what do we got to do today? Well, I would like to dig about a foot down for the um, downspout uh, line so I can get the water away from the house. Okay. Off the gutters. So you're just going to head back kind of right here where we're headed, right under Casey here on out to where it's lower, right? Yeah. Yeah, probably okay. maybe right out here in the middle, so not too far out. Or kind of we'll slope out. So. Tell you what, you want to do it? I would love to. I've been itching to get on this thing. Okay. Today's the day. Hopefully I don't put a hole in the side of the house. What extends it? Okay, that it so down, extend it out. Uh, this is bucket pearl. Oh, okay, bucket, bucket yeah. pearl and uh, okay. pearl. it might be nice to show a first timer using a backhoe now you guys have met Jimmy and you've actually seen him use our loader and grapple and you can see that he caught on to that really quick so he has some mechanical experience but I just thought it might be interesting to, uh, to show this because some of you might be saying hey you know I could use a machine like this if I could rent one so what I thought we could show in this video is just how quickly or not quickly Jimmy gets onto this machine so as Jimmy said, this is his first time ever using a backhoe. And the, the question becomes then, is this something feasible for you to rent and for you to be able to use on your first try? First thing I want you to notice is that we have the backhoe running at an idle. Don't worry about trying to be fast with anything. You run those hydraulics, if you have the engine RPM up really high, the hydraulics just move too quickly and you'll jerk it around a lot more than what you'd like certain that the machine is more powerful when you run it at more RPMs. But this is the best way to start. Low RPMs, take your time, don't be in a hurry. It's really unbelievable how powerful this thing is for its size and built in small places. I feel like it can I mean, dig anything up. Yeah, and, and you're not even running. You're running on an idle. Yeah. So you're not using even half of the power. This is got. really wet, heavy mud. I've yeah. never been struggling. It doesn't struggle at all. Right. Now don't go so deep. Yeah, there you go. Take a little bit. Controls on this are really smooth. I mean, it's, it's really no play. So you can actually hear the relief valve every so often when he actually goes, you know, beyond what what can be done with the machine, or you know, tries to close it when it's already closed, things like that. But that's okay. You're not going to hurt the machine by doing that. So what he's trying to do now is to clean out the trench, and that's really hard. It's so tempting to want to dig deeper. What is hard to learn is to be able to use your left hand and, and lift that boom while you're bringing that in. That's the only way you can keep that flat. Part of my problem is I'm used to a bobcat, so I'm wanting to pull both of them as I'm moving the bucket. Time what I mean. The objective we're looking for is to have a flat bottom on our trench, right? Yep. So we'll go up here, we'll grab, and then notice I'm just gently lifting this left hand. Now I'm gently lifting the left hand as it, as it comes closer. Yeah. Does that make sense? Makes so I wasn't sense. trying to get it up out of there, I was just trying to keep it from going deep. So I think one thing I want to point out is, even though Jimmy's never used this thing before, it's still a lot easier than a shovel for him. I mean, this is this has gone relatively fast. We've been here maybe 10 minutes total, and that's includes some of my wind jamming, trying to provide some instruction. I mean, it's it doesn't take that long to be able to get onto this, to be able to make it useful. Now, I don't think that means you're going to be an ex advanced, experienced operator. I mean, I'm not but you can use the device with just a little bit of practice. I think Jimmy's nervous that we're standing right here and he might whack us. No, I don't think so. He uh, doesn't look very nervous. It's pretty good let's, yeah. let's get a close up. 
What's that for? Are you like smiling for the camera or something? Come on. What you have to look at is the bottom of the trench and make sure it's always going down. But it, looks it, can, like it, it still should be able to go down and yet you get closer to the surface, right? That's the whole point of slope. Now I could get by fancy level out here if you want to see it or not. Or we just hook that up and put a water hose in it. <laughs> <laughs> These roots are from a stump we pulled out right in here. If you remember on our earlier video, this was where Bob had a fence. And that fence had some big bushes and stuff growing up in it. By the time we showed you the video, Jimmy had cut off the big bushes, but the stumps were still here. Except for the one that fell on you and Casey. I was trying to forget that. Safety first. Did you go get your favorite toy? I got one of my favorite toys. You got lots of toys. Lots of favorites. So he's gonna go all engineer on this, isn't he? Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> That's all right. That's what you got for a neighbor. That's right, I'm okay with it. I've seen these before, but I don't know how they work. This? Yeah, so you're gonna have to explain this to me. All I'm doing right here is figuring out where that height is. I just chose a spot there, see, that was kind of... Yeah. Okay. Now. All, all this thing will do is tell us what's level with that. Right, so you gotta come out here. So I'm gonna kinda go here the whole way. And it's probably okay to have some dips, right? Well, it's not great, but yeah. we definitely can't have any humps. We'll wanna crumb this out with a shovel. But we're still doing fine. So he, here we're down, you know, two or three inches, which is fine. But if we go in this deep, that's six inches deep. See, we're still below the surface. Still below the surface level. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Up a little. Right. Okay. That's fine. That should be roughly good. Finish it with the shovel. All right. So I'm going to go do handwork. Leave you guys with the power digging. The fun stuff. You just want to see somebody see you with a shovel. Makes feel sorry for you. Jimmy's been doing a lot of work to his house. He's uh, putting on a new front porch. He's put in new front doors, and he's doing new siding. It's going to look really good when he's done with it all. He's already put in some new landscaping over here. So we have a previous video where we um, tore out bushes for him that were here, and he's built back a wall. The wall looks a lot nicer than those old uh, bushes that got overgrown really fast. I think Jimmy's having a good time playing. He's pretty good with machinery, so he's a lot better at Casey in his first run here tonight than I was when I tried it. I don't see that shovel. Hey, you came at a bad time. I'm working. Jimmy did such a good job, I may not have to do a lot of shoveling. Except when you fall backwards. Hey. A lot easier to shovel the loose dirt back in than it is the original. Yeah. How's Jimmy getting along? Good, I think. He likes Casey. Everybody likes Casey. I'm not sure I quite understand Casey. What do you mean? We have a lack of communication oh. between him and me. <laughs> He's got too many controls. Yes. That's the way men feel about most women. Ah. Got too many controls to try to manipulate. You can't tweak, get them all yeah. down right at the same time. And you're always pushing the wrong button? Yeah. Push the wrong button at the wrong time. I'm kind of staying kind of shallow with this. So my landscape is going to come up pretty high. So I'm not worried that my landscape kind of covers the front of the pipe. So you don't want the, you want the pipe at the bottom of this trench here? Yeah. Well, I see about a foot uphill here, right? Uphill, so How's the deeper. water going to run out? I need, I need to go deeper. <laughs> no. It means you need to go further. Further, yeah. So I'm going to start cutting back this way because the tree's in the way. So I guess it doesn't really matter whether it's out here or over there. I'm just going to come straight up. We'll have a little bit of an angle to it. Yeah.
You've been making a lot of noise over here. Just beeping. Yep. I think we've about got it figured out. Check out my handiwork. Uh, I think that was Jimmy's handiwork. Hey, come on. I've exerted more sweat here. Pretty nice. You like that? You like to dig. I like to dig. So we're actually going to go down in the ground here a little bit so that he can have one of those pop-up pipes pop up right here. In theory, the surface is still below all of that. We should be able to uh, get that pipe essentially empty, but it'll make a downward angle here right at the end. Maybe. I'm going to start pretty close to the surface here, I think. So, I don't know how to use a shovel. Well, I don't either. That's why I handed it to you. <laughs> so it's dug out about right, time we put the elbow in. Yeah. Well, I think that's pretty much downhill all the way. Yeah. Yeah. Jimmy, uh, I think we're ready for your drain pipe to be installed. Yeah. So, what'd you think of Casey? I like it. It takes kids. Well, I think we'll get uh, getting used to. You think so? Oh, you, yeah. So we were kind of talking while you were driving about maybe uh, something like this as a rental machine. Do you think it's practical for oh, a first time? <laughs> it makes a lot easier than digging by hand for sure. Yeah. And so yeah, you were able to get onto it fast. Yeah. Enough. Oh yeah. Yep. I mean, I got a little bit of background with Bobcat and stuff, and I think that hurts me on that particular machine because you're using both hands for the bucket versus your legs. So I'm just so used to a Bobcat. So but. on the other hand, some equipment experience really just helps, even if oh, it's kind yeah, of definitely. contra. Yeah, just a hydraulic motion. Period. Yeah. yeah, and and just a little bit about mechanics. So if you have some skill with with driving any sort of machine. Um, I think the idea of renting one of these to work on your project is, is probably a pretty good idea. Now, having said that, we could see um, that it was a little bit clunky for you. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. So, you know, if you've, if you've got the least bit of nervousness about it, well, call Tractor Time with Tim. We'll come out and dig it for you. Thanks very much, Jimmy, for another good oh, thank project. You. Thank you. And thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time on... Track time, time with Tim. Tim. And Jim. And Jim. Yeah. Hey, you you even forgot the Jim that time. I know, I know. I'm not trying to steal the show. <laughs> <laughs>